and is continuing to cover the fallout from Portsmouth City Council voting to remove city manager Angel Jones. Reporter Leandra Head joins us now with more on the decision. Leandra, now you've been trying to reach out to city leaders all week on this. That's right, Pari. In our coverage, we have shown you reaction from Mayor Shannon Glover. The mayor spoke about how the surprise decision impacts trust among, among leadership, that is. When you meet in secret or you keep some people out of the meeting when, as it relates to a decision that we all must make as an appointment is of a city manager or a firing of a city manager, then there's a certain level of trust that has been broken. We also heard from former city manager Angel Jones right after the city council voted to fire her. She told News 3 about her experience on the job. I've been disrespected, <laughs> I've been undermined. Uh, it's been a hostile work environment ever since I've been here. Now tonight I spoke with Portsmouth Vice Mayor DeAndre Barnes, who was one of four members who voted to remove Jones. He spoke about how he made his decision. At the end of the day, we, we gave, gave her a good shot at it. Um, originally, I wasn't one of the supporters. Vice Mayor DeAndre Barnes believes Angel Jones didn't do enough to tackle crime in Portsmouth. When it comes to a particular issue, you got to talk to the people that's being effective. You can't sit in a, in a meeting and talk at those people. You actually have to go into the community. However, News 3 spoke to a mother who was impacted by gun violence when her daughter was shot. She says Angel Jones had been helping her and other gun violence survivors. She caught one meeting and it was 27 families down there of gun violence, myself included, and she moved a lot of chess pieces to get a lot of things done for us as far as mental health um, services. Um, you name it, she helped most, well, all the families. Shannon Carmack's daughter was shot while in the car in Portsmouth last fall. Thankfully, her daughter is recovering, but Carmack says it's going to be a long road. And Ms. Jones has done so much for families of gun violence in less than one year than anyone has done for any type of gun violence and families. Some city council members stated that Councilman Mark Whitaker called a private meeting at his church with Jones to discuss her resigning. Barnes says he doesn't see a problem in the two meeting privately. City council doesn't have offices, so pretty much wherever we are is where we can meet. We reached out to Councilman Whitaker, but didn't get an answer. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. In Monday City Council meeting, Councilman Lisa Lucas Burke stated that council members were getting paid for votes. Somebody came to my office and asked me to deal with this stuff because they've been asked to be paid Let's $3, take a recess. I'm, to I'm get gonna they recess vote this on meeting right stuff. now. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm not aware of that, but I think that if she knows that type of information, she she has a duty to report that to the police so that whoever's getting paid for votes can go to jail. On Tuesday, City Council will have a special meeting that is open to the public to discuss the appointment of a new city manager. Reporting live, Leandra Head, News 3.